Good morning, oil traders. It is Friday, September 29th at 9.13 a.m. Eastern Time, and uh, we're basically at where we closed off yesterday. Uh, we closed at 51.56, um, and uh, we basically hovered within 20 cents up or down of that point. Um, so basically, everybody's kind of just trying to figure out where we're going um, next. Uh, you will recall yesterday we had this very juicy me being a bear, it was juicy, uh, drop from a uh, the high 52s all the way down to the low 51s. Um, it was a dollar 60 drop in the price of crude, which is pretty significant. Um, I missed out on uh, most of the drop, but I did have a 5187 short position that turned out to be profitable and helped pay for the long position that I sold at a loss yesterday. Um, so it was a net loss, but uh, it was a good trade as far as I'm concerned yesterday. Um, happy to take that loss, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, so yesterday um, in the afternoon, I bought back into a smaller short position uh, than I had sold earlier at a crude price of 51.55, which is about where we are right now. 51.56 is dead even with the close yesterday. Um, and I'll be looking to buy a long as a hedge position if we end up dropping near uh, $51 if we settle there. If we drop hard um, below 51, then I'll be looking to exit one or more uh, short positions. Um, but uh, it sort of depends on how fast we drop and how far we drop. Um, I am looking, I am very much interested in get, starting to get back into long positions because, well, I expect quite a bit of volatility. And uh, whichever way we go, I'm sure we're going to reverse quite a few times along the way. And uh, I hope to play that volatility, basically. Um, if I'm wrong again, which is not unheard of, as you guys know, and we head back up, then um, most, for the most part, I, ha I need to be patient. Um, with the short added at 51.55, I'm not going to be looking to buy another short position until we get closer to 52. And again, it will be a smaller position, seeing as how I already bought at 51.55. Um, so if we head up, it's basically patience, uh, because uh, I'm, I need a price higher than what we've seen in the past, uh, uh, basically since yesterday. Um, the uh, overseas trading hasn't managed to get as high as I would need to get into another short position. Um, so for the most part, I need to be patient if we head up. And if we head down, then I'll be looking for the price to settle somewhere before I make a decision as to whether to buy long or sell my shorts. But that's my game plan. What do you guys think? Hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, etc., etc. Um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of closing here on the East Coast at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Till then, good luck. Cheers.